All right, we're shooting a little video here of a build we did. Now, when the customer came to us, it was just the uh, the tote with a bleach tank on it. So what we have here is two gear drive coolers, 26 and a half horsepower with Udor pumps, 10 gallon a minute at 3,000 PSI. All right, over here, we have our large Boyd fuel tank. Custer wanted two 12 inch reels because he's gonna mount his uh, water pet full system up here, I guess. So we have two, all of our reels are full stainless hand A's. Okay, we've got the solenoids, we've got the circuit breaker to sell trips, and here are the gear drives. Now look at this plumbing system here. We have, of course the poles are unloaders, the only one you should have. Notice no hit hose clamps, we use all hydraulic crimp clamps. Okay, this water feed, the customer can fill a bucket up with it all, but it also connects to the back of the filter, which allows it to self-flush that filter, because that's the motor they're gonna mostly be using. So they can self-flush this by just emptying water here, okay? The gear drives, we got all the exhaust TIG welded and plumbed down through. Got our special tacks on that work with the fuel injected motor. Our keys have little tethers on them. This exhaust comes through here, bends here, bends out, and comes out right underneath here. We have our Flow Pro right here with our dual injector. The reason why we have a dual injector is one's going to be for the soap. One's going to be for the bleach and other things as well. We'll show you that when we get the uh, mixing. Now, you know, you always have to have your gauge on here because that's the only way you can set your unloader is you slowly turn back on the ball valve till it hits 3,000 and then it dumps off and you know your unloader's set. We have another gauge here for this reel here. Also, it's the only way you know how to set your, uh, your, your tips on your service cleaner. If you got it 3,000 PSI, if this thing's running at 3,000, you want your your tips on your on your service cleaner to be around 25 2600 psi anything too tips are too small the pressure will rise tips are too small the pressure will be below all right we got our quick drains here or quick drain valves here where you can just hook a hose up drop it off there and, and drain the drain the fluids out got a nice custom bracket here we got our all of our framework here for the reels. Let's start off here with the 23 inch one. Of course, this way we hook up to the house, right? We have this here. We have this system here where it screws onto the house. And these are throwaways, so you're not ruining or damaging your good hose. Did this go right here? Now we have our Kevlar 3 8 hose here. First, we have a hundred foot. No, 50 foot of half inch hose first, wrapped around the reel, and then 200 foot of Kevlar hose. And you see here, everything's neatly, neatly tucked away. All those brass fittings that we never use because we never have brass fittings on our truck. This is a male brass fitting, a female. We basically screwed them together between the bracket. We took the O-ring out so it's nice and easy to clip on. And you're never going to drag your hose behind the rig. We got two seven, gallon, two seven gallon soap tanks. One's a house of soap and one's a neutralizer. Okay, and this is how we have our, each of these or each of the valves goes to each of the valves on the uh, downstream injector. Now we have the super sun sucker here with the really good valves we got from Manatee. There's a 2.3 and the good check valves. Now, if you want to go ahead and downstream your bleach, you just turn the bleach here and you turn your soap. And this is how you meter the soap. Because we know the soap gets concentrated, we need to meter it down. Then when we're done with this, we're gonna come in, switch it to neutralizer. We're gonna run neutralizer through our through our uh, our downstream injector and through this through here. And then the soap here is pretty harsh, so we always want to flush everything also with the soap. 
Now, if we have this on off auxiliary, right? We have this little connector here. You pop that off here. And this here is its own valve. So once you turn this off, you plug this in here like this. And you can drop this into a bucket of caustic degreaser or what have you, whatever you need. I'm not using it. You pop it off. Put your cap on. And that's it. Over here, we have another. He wanted to drain for the SH. I'm not a fan on putting any type of bulkheads on the bottom, but that's what they wanted. So we have another custom mount here with that as well. Flow Pro. Most of you guys know I build everything. And you know what? For the quality of this, it's not even worth it. Not even worth my time. Only thing I did add on it was the indicating light. Now, most of you guys buy these. And uh, it's all personal preference where they come... When what you have to you have to energize them for the ball valve to open for to use them. This one here on off. This valve is open here to full flow. Basically, we had to take this apart, and um, Mr. West basically showed me how to do it. Great customer service. How to change this so it's always open unless it's energized. So we went ahead and switched that around. We put an indicating light on it, and on the remote we just had to switch the stickers around now. You see how this remote here, if you look at it, the stickers are almost upside down. I like it that way because when it's on your neck and you lift it up, the antenna's here. It's not poking a hole in the bottom. And then your rinse and your mix. And we also change the strobe a little bit. So that's, you know, you're, you're spraying there and then you want to rinse. You just turn it off and it, we had to turn the sticker upside down because when we change the valve position, you have to change the sticker. But we turn it upside down. And we like the sticker upside down because when you grab off your chest and go like this, that's how you read it. All right, we also got the water fed coming into a valve here. So if you want to shut it off, you don't want to fill the tank all the way or you want to give the well uh, a rest. And then up there we have, of course, our filter going to our Joe Ball in there, not a Hudson valve. You notice all the wires, everything goes through with grommets, through the bed. All the electrical, see, all, all the electrical go through grommets through the bed here, through the bed here, same thing with the fuel lines. Everything's nice and neat. We have our hydraulic 90s on here, so everything flows real nice. We have our, this here's a swivel, so we can take this apart. We have our nice mount here, nice mount here. Everything is secure. Everything is custom, all the hose lengths. Um... Yeah, nice little build. Gentleman wants to add some more stuff to it later, but it's a nice little start. Notice no drop tubes. Like I said, we drill a hole and pull the hoses right through them. There's filters on the bottom. But yeah, it's a nice little, nice little build here. We tried to offset the motors as much to the left as possible to take care of most of the weight is on this side. And that's it, guys. Keep on spraying. Another shot of the plumbing. See how we go ahead with stainless steel rods, how we hold these filters in. We put nut certs in, see these nut certs. All right, guys, keep on spraying.